guys, it's Kit here and I have got a new tutorial series planned for us. This is how to make a FNAF game in Scratch. This is part one. Um, not sure how many parts there are going to be, but this is kind of an advanced tutorial. And today we are going to be working on the menu. So as you can see the menu right here and some nice static, dark effects and twitching. So let's get right into it. So you'll find um, on my Scratch profile the assets you would need, or you can draw your own. Um, we have a sprite called Cast, which is all the characters. You can do as many as you want, you can design them however you want. Put them in these poses though. And we've also got Menu Peep, which I named. So we're going to do When Flag is Clicked, Show. And then you want to get a go to block so that's the go to zero zero block you want to get that and you want to go to negative 176 zero as you can see it does not show so you want to put in a go to front layer and there he is crusty now i forgot to mention here are the costumes you'll need for this sprite so as you can see there's all these different twitched costumes all very different get a little bit creepy as well now I want to create a new costume which is just going to be a little dot in the middle of the screen now you want to switch costume to costume 5 which is the last costume and at the start switch costume to costume 1 and then switch costume to costume 1 there so his size is absolutely perfect and you also want to set size to 136 there also probably worth changing these values to, ne to negative 75 so that he gets into the at the side of the screen so it shows like half of his face. Now you want to add in a forever loop with a wait and wait one second inside and you want to get a pick random. Now we're gonna change this to three to five seconds, which is a perfect time. You to put that above the loop. Now you wanna go into costumes, as you can see, we want it to go to the third one because the fourth one is going to be more rare to happen so what we're going to do how we're going to do that is a switch costume to pick random one two three now what we're going to do is get an if then loop and get an if pick random one two five so that's a one in five chance is equal to five then we're going to put that in there and switch costume to costume four now that will make it switch costume to the fourth costume now if we run this as you can see he kind of has a bit of a spasm so we want to fix that by putting in a weight pick random 0 0.02 to 0 0.2 seconds in that just below the if condition <laughs> And then we're going to put a switch costume to costume one at the bottom. Now, as you can see, it doesn't really do the anything else. It just does the same thing, kind of. It still has that kind of spasm. So we want to change this to, we want to add in another weight pick random. And as you can see, it should begin working. It does work. He, he does it and it waits. There we go. Got the rare costume. And that is the twitching done, guys. Now you want to go into the sprite called Menu Static, which kind of is just a static sprite that I have exported. And this is going to make the game look so much better. So you want to do when flag is clipped, forever, next costume, run that. And as you can see, the animation just brings stuff to life so much. It looks like static. Now we want to set the ghost effect to 50%. Now that will make a big difference, as you can see, it's already looking a little bit like a FNAF game. Now, we want to go onto the sprite called TXT, which means text, and we want to put a show block. And then, and then we want to go onto the dark E, and, yep, everything seems to be fine with that. We want to go onto this and go to the back layer, because, yep, as you can see, it looks so much better. We want to add in a black backdrop to kind of hide the fact that the dark E is like, you know, got the invisible spot in the middle. Look at that. That is looking so much better. It kind of just makes it look so creepy, like a FNAF game. 
no, go into the new game sprite and get a when flags click show forever if then else touching mouse pointer. Now this is going to give it a nice little animation. We want to set size to 100 and then duplicate that. We want to set size to 85 if it is touching the mouse pointer and 100 if, no, 100 if it is and 85 it's not. We set brightness effect to minus 10, set it to zero and duplicate that. Put it at the top, put that one in where the set size 100 is and then that one there. Now as you can see, it already is starting to do its little animation where it kind of pops out a bit and it kind of just makes the game look a bit more polished and better. Now what we want to do is a when sprite is clicked, broadcast, newspaper. Now this is, we're not going to be making the newspaper today but we are broadcasting that. Uh, just to be prepared for next time. Now we want to go on to backdrops and we're going to make a new broadcast message which is going to be vitally important. We want to broadcast menu when the flag is clicked. Now this is going to start the game up and this will help when, you know, you, when we restart the game when you die. Now you want to get a when I receive menu and you want to replace every when flag is clicked block with that. Now you want to also go into the dark effect and you want to yeah you want to set all this you want to go into the dark effect and when i receive menu show and we're not going to try get into the other things i did that on the recording by mistake we are just going to add in a show block there and a right when i receive menu now it should do right so we're just going to do that it should do nothing uh, different than it did before but this just puts us in control of the menu um, and it, that's because if you click that then it will run the whole project so that is going to be extremely useful but that is it guys for today's episode um, part one on how to make a FNAF game I hope you enjoyed it if you did smash the like button um, don't forget you can get the assets on my scratch profile and goodbye